Hello friends, so today we have a TV to repair. Um, it's a high sensor 2 inch, it switches on, you can see there, but it's very dark. So the, the customer is not happy with the TV, you can see it goes on, but it's very dark. It's just shining because I have the flashlight on. So I'm going to show you how we fix this TV so it can get its original brightness again. And hopefully the customer can watch TV and be happy again. So what we want to do is we want to open the screws and make sure this section of the of the TV is open and we can see on the board what is going on there. But it looks to me like a, 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 it's a it's a capacitor problem because I can see the backlights switch on very nicely. And by the way, this is a high sense, it's 2 inch, you can see the LED backlight TV, model, power source, and everything. So now the TV is open, and here is the switch on button. Here is the LCD driver board, which is connected obviously to the board, the main board. And as we can see, the, I don't know if you can see that three of those capacitors these guys they're all bumpy I think four of them you see this one here at the top the this one is 63 volts my 100 microfarads and these two I think is 470 25 volts if I'm not mistaken and I think all three of them they have their voltage rating on it you can check from that side I think it's a 330, 35 volts, yes. So, basically, the problem you saw on this TV will be repaired when we change all these three capacitors and we check for any shot on the board and there's no shot available. So I will just quickly take out this board, take it to my bench and change these capacitors together so you can see how this TV is being fixed. So stay tuned and if you haven't subscribed to our channel do well to subscribe to our channel because there's a lot of more informative videos coming on the way and if you want to be a member to our channel you can just click the, the link below to join the channel and if you have any problem you can just contact us and we'll help you to repair it all by yourself before you start working on this board you want to discharge this main capacitor for any charge because it holds a lot of charge and to discharge it you can always use a, a screwdriver and just touch just from the two points sometimes you get a spark but it's very good because when you start working here you can get electrical ele, you can get electrocuted or you can get electrical shock from this board due to this capacitor holding charge so you always want to discharge this capacitor before you start losing the board so here we have the board on my bench and I can just check quickly I can also see there's a, a problem with this little guy here which is also part of the, the whole circuit so I just want to get the Capacitors, voltages, and microfarads. I don't know if you can see. So you get this one, which is a it's a 63 volts, 100 microfarads. I'll replace that one. And these two, actually these three, they are all three. It's three, 330 microfarads and 35 volts. So most of the times I don't always get these capacitors. I will show you which one I use for the for the equivalent and it's just gonna work just fine. So I will just get my repairs, replacement capacitors and then we can replace it together. So from the look out of things I can see that the board is really stressing around here and around here you can see it's brown. You can see here. And also here, yeah. this main transistor, power MOSFET, it looks like it's overworking. So I will just start by 
showing you how I take out these capacitors and together we'll learn how to desolder these capacitors on the TV motherboard. So I will just clean my soldering head and apply some old flux, sorry flux to this. I just want to make sure that I'm not working on the on the wrong capacitor. You want to make it warm till it gets new solder on. You want to make it warm till it gets new solder on. Okay, I'm taking this one out of this tube. how you take it out while you make the solder joints hot you just plug it out too so I just have to make sure I know which one is going away you know the three are here under yes. so we we'll start first by replacing the 330 okay I got all three of them loose this one is fine I still have to make this one loose this one okay so, so I want to do the same thing so all four is out now what I have to do is to clean the traces so I can Set the new capacitors, so I will just start from here. Okay, didn't get that one quite well. I'll go to the next, so I will just yeah, go, go, go. So, all I do is I always just apply new flux to it, and then I do the same thing again. Until I get it right, I didn't get it this time. Okay, there we go. Just gonna move on to the next. make sure everything is is one two three and four so you can see now the holes are really most open so I just need to get my replacement capacitors and then we can change them so these are the old capacitors that I took out you can see all of them are that bump on the, they're swollen you can 
see that. So all four of them changed and I will be putting this these new ones on. So I didn't get the exact capacity I was looking for, but I did get 330, 25 volts. I know on this power rail, a, a 25 volt capacitor can also um, do the work just fine. So, and you can see this side of the capacitor is a negative side, so it's always shown on the board. Sure that your joints are nice and clean and this one comes here at the top By the way, I check the capacitance to make sure that all of them are good, good to go. So. So what I 
like to do is I'm done. I like to just check for any short or any water shorted component before I plug the TV together. I'll just start by the output diodes. And sorry, uh, it's the capacitance mode. I have to put it on diode mode. Okay, multimeters on diode mode. I just have to check this output diodes and everything looks fine to me so we're just gonna go and plug it in now and see what happens with this TV so with everything connected we're just gonna check now together and see what's gonna happen are we gonna get image or what are we gonna get so you can see the new capacitors are installed the old capacitors are out you can see nicely the capacitors are in and they are not bumped everything looks okay to me so we just quickly switch it on and see what happens